So we're in Unit 19, um, the discussion of temporal clauses, which is on in the book on pages 547 and 548 yeah, and 9, 549. Um, don't, look at, don't look at those pages yet. Let's look at these English sentences that Blasey has written on the blackboard. So, so these are ab about, it's about a certain kind of clauses that that um, the book calls temporal clauses. They are until clauses, as long as clauses, um, and before clauses, okay, of a certain kind. So if you say in English, I was fighting until I won, okay, um, that's, here's, here's the question about something like that from a Greek point of view. If you're going to say until I won, is that going to be indicative or a mood? Are you talking? In other words, are you talking about a reality when you say "until I won," or are you talking about something that's that may or not come true? Okay. So, in the case of "until I won," I think from a Greek point of view, it's true, because mm -hmm. I, 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 I you can say yeah, I actually did win. Okay. Um, I was fighting as long as I was winning. Again, I was winning. Okay, and then I stopped fighting. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And the last one, I shall fight until we win. I, we don't know whether we're going to win, right? Okay. It's unclear. Okay? So the, the one sentence that sticks out is that one from the point of view of the criteria of the modal system in Greek to decide whether it's indicative or something else. So the one that's indefinite, okay, in which you can't say this is true in parentheses, is the one in which you have to use modal syntax. So in the case of until, there, there are two words in Greek for until. They're mekri and heos. And if it's, a, if it's a, a fact, you just use the appropriate sense of the indicative. So the first one, until I won, you'd use mekri or heos and the aorist. If you were, as long as I was winning, then you use mekri, which you also use for as long as, with the imperfect, right? It's about a process going on, right? And real. But in the last one, what are you going to do? Well, we've seen two strategies for sentences like that. Remember, we talked about purpose clauses and result clauses, right? In result clauses, in purpose clauses, which are by definition your intention, you don't know whether they're real, mm -hmm. you use the subductive and the optative, right? In result clauses, if it's a real result, then you use the indicative, right? Um, I fought so long that I, I gave up and quit, okay, as a result of, some, of fighting so long. But if it's an unreal or, an, or a natural result and not an actual result, mm -hmm. I fought, I ate so much as, uh, that I, I, or I could, I said I could eat a, I, I, I haven't eaten for so long that I could eat a horse, okay, that's an, un, uh, an unreal result, right? So there, what do you do? Use the infinitive, okay? So these are strategies. The infinitive is a way of talking about something that's not finite in the sense of not definite, right? So what's the syntax with mekri and heos? It's you use that modal particle on and the subjunctive, okay? And with for the last case, not the infinitive, but on and the subjunctive, okay? Now let's look at, at another kind of temporal clause with the same kinds of problems. Okay? He taught the citizens before going away. We don't know whether he went away, right? That's ambiguous, right? Mm -hmm. To some extent, right? Or at least it's more ambiguous than he did not teach the citizens until he wrote the book. Right? So this is another kind of before but the word for before that you use in clauses like this is prin, okay? And when you have these um, uh, uh, clauses that which, which uh, um, feature things that are unclear, like he taught the citizens before going away, you use an infinitive with prin. He taught the citizens prin apelte, mm -hmm. is the example in the book. Or the other example is he will announce the victory this, to the city before the heralds come. Right? Mm -hmm. And they haven't come yet. <laughs> right? So there's a 
there's a question about the about the, the factualness of the of the material in the before or the until clause. So when you use print, you use the infinitive for the indefinite version and the indicative for the definite ones. When it comes to mekri and heos, you use the indicative for the field ones and you use the subjunctive with on for the others. That's what it comes down to. Okay. So I hope the concept is clear.